Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at what is antibody testing. I'm categorizing this video as a hot topic video, as this is probably a question many of you have on your mind and want to learn a little bit more about. I ask that if you enjoy this video and its content, that you subscribe to my channel and like and share my video. I really do enjoy making these videos for you and sharing my knowledge of science in a way that hopefully many of you can understand. Your support of my channel by subscribing and interacting with me will encourage me to continue making content. So what exactly is an antibody test? An antibody test is also known as a serology test. In order to understand better what an antibody is, please make sure to watch my video on antigens and antibodies. That video covers what an antibody is and what an antigen is and how they interact with one another. If you have that baseline down, you'll understand this video much better. Briefly, an antibody is made by the body when it comes into contact with an antigen, which is a foreign particle. This means when you are sick, either with a virus or a bacteria, the body can eventually make antibodies against it when your immune system kicks in. This allows your body to clear the infection faster the next time it comes around and builds up some immunity against it. This is also the idea behind vaccinations. When you get vaccinated with a version of the virus, your body is capable of making antibodies against it. Thus, you have a way to protect yourself from ever getting the disease. However, there are issues such as the ability that viruses have to mutate. Some viruses mutate and some viruses mutate much more than others. And this becomes an issue because if the virus mutates and can create new outer proteins, this will allow that new virus to evade the immune system. That means if you previously were infected with one strain of the virus and made antibodies against it, they will not protect you from the new strain. This is why it is so difficult to make vaccines for mutating viruses such as the flu. We can only guess which ones will be most prominent for the season and make vaccinations accordingly. However, let's get back to antibody testing. So the body makes antibodies against these antigens that enter into the body. Therefore, antibody testing is a good way to tell if you've been infected by something in the past because technically your body should be making antibodies against that pathogen. The antibody tests cannot tell if you currently have the disease because it is not testing for the antigen. So the tests are looking specifically for the antibodies that your body would make because you had previously been sick. It is not testing to see if you are currently sick. So this would indicate that you have at one point been infected. Now, the specific cell that makes antibodies are referred to as B cells. B cells are part of white blood cells and an active part of humoral immunity. When B cells are activated to make antibodies, they are referred to as plasma cells. At first, they pump out antibodies, which are known as IgM, a specific class of antibodies. This indicates an early infection, and IgM is always pumped out initially at the beginning of any new infection. Eventually, there is a class switch, and they will convert to making IgG. So IgM gets pumped out about 10 days um, into the infection, and then eventually there will be a class switch to IgG. Um, so that takes a few weeks. So um, in order to test for antibodies, we're talking at least a month out from infection, maybe even two. And this also depends on the specific virus because some will cause the immune system to make antibodies earlier and some will take a little bit longer. The antibody test uses a sample of your blood by finger prick to see if you have any of these antibodies against the virus. Because if these antibodies are made, they would be pumped out by the plasma cells and present within the blood. So by testing a sample of the blood, they can see whether or not you've made antibodies against the specific virus they are testing for. So antibody tests can tell if you were previously infected with the disease, but they cannot tell you if you will be immune to subsequent infections. 
This depends greatly on the virus and whether or not it mutates and can infect you again. We also don't know how long the antibody immunity will stay in the body. Some um, antigens are capable of making antibodies stay around much longer. Sometimes they really don't last too long in the body itself. So all said, antibody testing tests against the antibody that the body makes against the virus. So if the antibody test for a specific virus comes out positive, then that would indicate that you had previously been infected with that virus. However, if it comes back negative, then that means that you have not made antibodies against that virus. If you are sick, however, it could be a possibility that you do have the disease and therefore would eventually make antibodies since antibody production takes a few weeks. If you are sick, an antibody test will not tell you whether or not you are sick. You would need to take a diagnostic test testing for that specific antigen. I do hope this helps you understand antibody testing and what it is used for. Again, if you'd like to support me and my channel, I ask that you please subscribe and make sure to pass this video along. Thank you.